Okay guys, welcome back. This is another video of our Patreon Outdoors. Just want to let you know, today we are talking about the lovely Impact MK3. So here in front of me I have a bronze edition of it. Um, I do have a standard version. I'll explain a bit later what's the difference between the two. So your standard version of your M3, which is what we call your, your, your top end of your high class in air rifle. So these M3s come up with two legs, which makes it very nice for tuning. Depends on what you want to use it for, whether it is going to be for pest control, targets, whatever it is, probably one of the best drivers you could get yourself today. This thing runs around from a large magazine capacity, a large bottle, the 700 mm barrel as well. So it works all in all in your favor. It's probably just one of the best all around guns in general. Now, if you buy it like this, out of this rifle, you'll see it comes, or out of its standard box, you'll see it comes with a moderator. So, this rifle, as it is here, is standard. Now, when we say standard, it's still got its original pallet probe in it. You'll see it's that round piece here. And it's still got its superior line on the inside. So, that's a 1 to 24 twist ratio. So, this gun is very, very accurate as it is already. If you're willing to go up to heavier slugs, there's upgrades you can do on that. But as it is now, it is able to shoot up to 23 grain slugs at a rough 950, 960, 970 feet per second. So that will be a simple tune of 150 on this side and 110 or 120 on this side. Now you can push your first rig. This is another rig that comes just off the bottle, which will be on the left gauge. That you can push up from 150 to 200. It all depends on how you feel. And yet at the back, you can push anywhere from 75 to 130 for a standard tune. Okay, you can get anything then, like I said, from an 80 grain pallet all the way up to a 23 grain. That is on the standard one. So that still has the heavier spring, the standard probe, the standard hammer, standard light. Now, if you're looking to upgrade from there, that's going for something like a slug ready gun, is what we call it here on this side. We will then install, or you yourself will install, a superior heavy line on the inside. We will then install a kit, a slug power kit. Now that power kit consists of a Pin probe, not the pellet probe. It consists of a soft return valve spring, which is a softer spring that goes in the front, which controls your valve, how quickly it opens and how long it stays open. And then a tungsten hammer, which is now the latest thing as well. It used to come out only with washers, which you put on, and you put one on the M3. Now with this one, well, the new kits, we get tungsten hammers. So they are three times stronger, 1.7 times denser than steel which is nice. When I say stronger, I mean heavier, so they open your valves a lot easier. So that's where the tanks and ammo comes in play. Now, once you've installed a kit like that, you are able to shoot even anywhere up to 40 grain slugs, so easily up to 940 feet per second. Now that's with the standard 700 mm barrel, the 580cc bottle, and the 28 round mag, with a slug ready conversion. So that's what makes these M3 so nice, as you can hear, the power that this thing is pushing at, the distance that this thing can get, which is very, very nice. Now what makes this gun so special as it is here, is the fact that everything is tunable outside the gun. Once you have your rifle, you have got four to five different type of tuning or settings or fine tuning that you can do. Now, from here we've got a bottle of 250 to your first rack. Here's your first tuner, which you are able to tune here on the inside of your bottle connector. Okay, so that controls the difference, the step down from 250 to let's say 200, which is a random or standard amount that I usually put it on. From there onwards, you'll go all the way back to what we call your second rack, so that you'll put here, you'll tune here according to that gauge there at the bottom. Now, like I said, that can vary anywhere from 75 up to 130 on a standard one. Obviously, once you start passing 130 on a standard one, the hammer gets too weak. Now, with a tungsten hammer, because of the weight, you are able to push even higher, higher rigs, which allows us then to obviously shoot heavier slugs. Now, from there onwards, 130, 140, even 150 bar, you are able to push that. Cool. From there onwards, you've got obviously the reg 1, reg 2. From there, you've got what we call soft return valve spring, setting in front. So this, you adjust in and out, you'll see accordingly, it's got four lines on it. So, the more you turn it up, the longer this valve stays open. Obviously the more it stays open, the more air it lets through, making more air behind your slug or behind your pellet, allowing for more speed. Okay. And then onwards on the side here, we've got a macro wheel and a micro wheel. That is something that adjusts for your hammer, how hard it's hitting the valve. You'll see you've got all the way from 1 to 16, obviously 16 being your toughest and 1 being your weakest. Now, once you've found this setting on here, you've then got a quick tuner system, well, we call it a micro wheel. You've got anywhere from 1 to 5. You can play around with that. Obviously, as you step down over there, it's obviously going to drop them from micro down. Macro and micro work in exactly the same way, but yeah, as you keep on going up, so will your micro wheel as well. Cool. Guys, very simple, very easy, and extremely effective life for us.
Cool. Now, just to add on to all of this, the M3, as it comes out, you'll see it's quite a stunning looking gun. Now, for those of you, there are many, many, many availabilities of customization on this gun. Everyone for themselves. Doesn't matter, left, right, if it's gold, if it's blue, if it's red, it's able to be done. As it is now, it's a nice bronze, we like this. Okay, so what makes this now, this rifle so special, is there are different companies that give out or bring out different type of add-ons onto here. Because like I said, you pick the way you want it to be. Now, this rifle also comes in a 177 configuration, 2.2, two, a 2.5, a 3.0, and a 3.5. Okay, that is obviously something that you can do by yourself. So if you want to shoot heavier pellets, heavier slugs, that's a configuration you can do yourself. Cool. From there onwards, things like you can change to different type of gauges, to electronic gauges, which is an extra add-on. You can change your stocks, your butt stocks, your bottles. You can go along the bottles, put on 800 more barrel kits. This is what makes the gun so nice, is the fact that you can customize it to the way you want to. You are not set into having it as it is here. You can, like I said, make it longer, make it shorter. You can do just as you please. If something looks nice for you, put on the gun, see what happens. Change the color, change half the color, do whatever it is that you want to. Make it unique and make it yours. This is what makes the M3 in total just one of the better guns to have.